Greetings. It's now day five of the century drill. Now, yesterday, day four, I taught you the torque attack. Today, I'm going to teach you the thrust attack. Now, of course, the thrust is very simple. All you're doing is stabbing your opponent. But, if you bring your sword down horizontally to a level position and then thrust, your opponent will most likely see it and block it. That's not to say that a, a leveled thrust won't work in some situations, but most of the time, your opponent's going to see it. So, you kind of have to disguise it sometimes. Probably one of the best ways to do that is to make it kind of like a snap. You punch forward, and you let the sword continue going forward much earlier in the attack. So that when the point gets to about where you want it, like, say, the chest, you push forward. At first, it'll look like I'm trying to go for a headshot. But instead, I drop the sword earlier and make a thrust to their chest. So they're expecting that, not that. So, let's perform a thrust. All right. Now, first of all, the main targets for a thrust would be to the face, to the chest, to the stomach. Now, remember, like I said in the punch attack, if you aim for the face, you want to be careful not to do it very hard, or you could cock their head back enough to injure their neck. So you got to be careful. So I would recommend don't make too many thrusts to their face. All right. So here we go. That's the thrust. Now, let me make a, a slight note. If you're using a sword like this, with this basket hilt, and you just have regular gloves like this, you might jam the hilt into the top of your hand. And you might start hurting your hand if you keep 
making hard thrusts to a stationary pill like this one. So what you might want to do is find a pill like this one, or make a pill like this one that swings, because it'll give a lot less resistance to the attack than this one will. So, that's day five. Tomorrow, day six, I will teach you the wrap attack. So, goodbye for now.